But time is running out. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea, known to us as North Korea, is facing a catastrophic food shortage. And Samaritan's Purse says the country's food stocks will run out and run dry as early as June. Joining us, Reverend Franklin Graham, President CEO of the United States-based charitable organization Samaritan's Purse. And before we get to North Korea and its family, I want to do two things. One, Billy Graham quotes, brand new book. Yes. Uh, it's about 2,000 quotes, uh, Greta, on almost 200 different subjects. You know, I, over the years, a lot of people quote my father, and I found many of them are misquoting him. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to take his quotes from the early 40s all the way up to, the, to where he is now at 92 and just show the consistency of what he's had to say. All right, what, uh, I'm sure that uh, if he's watching tonight, I hope he knows that we, we're talking about him and uh, about the he's brand watching. new book. Right, good. Um, the second thing is, before we get to North Korea, um, the tornado damage in Southwest. Um, I noticed uh, that uh, Governor Sarah Palin and yes. Todd Palin were down with Samaritan's Purse. They were. They came to Birmingham, and they did a tremendous job, came out and, and worked uh, almost Almost a full day. Uh, they, what, what was so great about that, they went around and they, they shook the hands of uh, the volunteers, thanked them for volunteering, and here they were working themselves. And then uh, the, the people that were affected, just the fact that she would come from Alaska uh, down there to spend uh, part of a day with them, it meant everything in the world. So very grateful for, for her and Todd. It, it looks just like a war zone. It, it's, uh, it's some of the worst damage I've seen anywhere, especially Tuscaloosa, where that tornado went right through that town. It's um, like a bomb. Well, I, I hate to now make this trans transition from you know the people suffering here in this country, yeah. um, but to North Korea. It's um, tragic. Which is, I mean, where we're headed actually with you tomorrow. Um, how bad is it, North Korea, right now? You have around 24 million, 26 million people. Uh, there's about six million people that are going to be affected with this uh, food shortage. They've had the rains last year. Uh, they had a terrible winter. Uh, the food stocks have, have dwindled now to where they don't even have enough now to get to the next growing season. Uh, the average person, Greta, uh, needs about 1,700 calories a day to maintain body weight. Uh, their, their, their rations right now are less than 700 calories per person. Uh, what it is, is it means you're going to have starvation, you're going to have malnutrition, there'll be death. Uh, children, one-third of the children in North Korea today have been stunted because of the lack of uh, food. People are supplementing by foraging for grass. Really roots. eating just grass? Just eating grass, grass they on boil the it and they try to make a stew. They put tree bark and boil that in the water to anything for any kind of nourishment. So Greta, the, the, the need is great. Now they have asked uh, the United States government for 335,000 uh, metric tons of, of food. Uh, Greta, this is not a huge amount, but that's what they have asked for. Uh, the United States government asked that an assessment be done by NGOs, which uh, Samaritan's Purse was one of those NGOs in that assessment. Uh, then they asked for assessment the Assessment for what? To see how much is needed or to, where it to, goes? To, or? to verify that there was the need for food. And we were able to go into 17 different counties. They gave us access to orphanages, to homes, to schools. Uh, we went in and were able to measure the, the, the arms of children uh, to, to, to see uh, the malnourishment. Uh, so we were able to verify the, the, the food shortage is, is chronic th throughout the country. It's not isolated in just one area, but it's across the country, and we were able to see it. Then they asked the World Food Program to do the same. World Food Program came back with the exact same conclusion. Uh, there is a real need for food in North Korea. They need it by June. The, we, we were working on this back in February, and here we are now in May, and no decision has been made. Greta, it would be tragic if the, if the United States government withholds food and uses food as a, as a weapon. I, I was going to say, why would, they, why, is, why, would, uh, why would they withhold it? Uh, Greta, uh, there's a lot of politics involved in this, and there's other countries that, that get involved. Um, I don't want to get into the politics of it because as a minister of, of, of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I believe the Bible teaches that we are to do good to all men. And uh, the North Koreans, regardless of where we are politically with them, we have some real issues that need to be dealt with. We have some issues that need to be worked out, but food should not be held or withheld uh, to try to push them uh, to whatever table we want them to come to. Uh, there's a regime change that's coming, and we all know that. This is a great opportunity for the United States to step up to provide uh, this kind of food assistance and encourage the, the new regime that's coming. To, let's talk. Let's be friends. It's been 60 years, almost 60 years, I guess, since the end of the Korean War. 
and Greta, we still have two armies facing each other, uh, and, and nobody's talking. We need, to, we need to find a way to get this thing pushed forward. And of course, I mean, the starvation, that's the, the people. That's the people. That's the people. The people that have no choice, they don't have anything. Th these are people that are just trying to, to live their life. And um, we're, back in the 90s, we saw over a million people die in North Korea due to uh, famine. And it, this is as critical today as it was back in the 90s. And if we don't do something soon, you're going to see hundreds of thousands of people that and, could possibly perish in this famine. And uh, we're going to bring our cameras um, so that we can take the viewers into North Korea so they get a little bit of an idea of what's going on there, so I they can hope, see for themselves. I hope we'll be able to bring that footage back and show the American people the need. Reverend, thank you, and uh, I, I look forward to bringing our cameras with you to North Korea. Nice thank to you. see you, sir. Thank you, sir.